Wonderful. Okay. Again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and a good morning to all. We have started on time. So from now on, my sessions will start on time. Okay, we will not wait for anybody. We will start on time. Wonderful. Those who want to join early, let them join. So I'm very happy to see 24 people online now. Thank you so much. So today is leadership training program and tomorrow is memory skills. Okay. So we will talk about introduction and various styles of uh, leadership. I will introduce to you the leadership. Okay, leadership is a vast subject. So today I am introducing only the leadership basics. Okay. And after that, maybe if time permits may, uh, and the chances permits, you will learn so much. Okay. So, fine. Okay, there is some uh, this thing. Let me change. Give me a second. Okay. So, um, if you are on laptop, please switch off your mobile. I hope you are sitting in a uh, separate place so that nobody else in your home disrupts you. Take notes wherever possible and use only the chat box. And stay connected. If by chance you get disconnected, come back quickly. And if I get disconnected, please wait patiently. I'll be back very quickly. In few seconds, I can be back. Okay. Thanks for the responses in the chat box. Fine. So do you want to be a leader? Why? If you don't want to be a leader, why not? Anybody? Anybody can answer this question? Host, please give access to the uh, speaker to all the participants. Uh, yes, sir. Hello, I'm going to talk to sir. Sir, your mic is on mute. Why did you go on mute? Okay. So anybody can unmute and uh, they can talk. Do you want to be a leader? Why? Come on, come on. Host, we are muting me also. Okay. Yes, says Farhat. Why? In fact, you are the right person to answer this question. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam, rahmatullah. Yes, sir. I would like to be a leader because uh, uh, the changes 
and uh, the uh, uh, good, uh, we we can see the good uh, in the society and for the good welfare uh, for the social like uh, discipline to create the discipline and the good values in the social uh, society in among the people uh, if we have the qualities of the leadership uh, we can uh, uh, give our social a uh, very much better and good life and a disciplined life do and you can, think it will can, it will happen if you if you become a leader you can bring the changes uh, so we can give a try to change the so society the social elements to become the uh, good good part of the society that means and we can help the social society also for it and uh, we can guide them we can lead them uh, to come towards a better life so i'm not getting the words right words no problem no problem anybody mm -hmm. else anybody else do you want to be a leader if you want to become a leader why that is the question yes i want to become a leader because ah. i want to influence people i want to influence people i want to guide them towards their goal okay that's okay. why i would like to become a leader very good amida very good amida thank fatima you, thank you sir anybody else anybody else <laughs> so many new friends have joined this webinar anybody come on hello yes sir yes shami yes so yes. yes, i want to be a leader uh, because a leader only can uh, lead and give the correct uh, direction how to go how we have to handle the uh, situation um they can uh, um lead uh, in all the points uh, where have to be we, uh, where we have to be there uh, you remember <clears throat> yeah 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 shamim go ahead go ahead go ahead family also we are leading as mm. as a mother as a uh, head of the uh, family we are leading our children so, uh sir okay do you remember during the previous uh, session uh, i showed you a video in which a small kid he took the lead and he tried to push the tree on the road do you remember that yes sir so if you want to become a leader not necessarily you have to be an adult yes even a kid can lead sure sir yes yeah yes very good anybody else that is inbuilt quality inbuilt quality initiative. but that is a initiative uh, in, in the person that will come out yes shamim that's the one but i don't agree with inbuilt uh, quality you can develop your leadership skills that's what we are going to learn now yeah okay anybody else sandhya leadership skill will groom ourselves and it helps to improve our way of thinking and personality very good very good sandhya for the betterment of the society for you yeah anybody else any other answer come on you can unmute yourself and talk or uh, like sandhya sent uh, you can uh, message me also you can use the chat box if you don't want to talk but i would encourage all of you to talk you unmute yourself talk and then once you uh, your talk is over 
again go on mute <clears throat> any other answer i really appreciate uh, parhat shamim and sandhya good keep it up leadership quality will groom our self confidence yes sana that's the right answer leadership is very big responsibility yes wasim sorry wasila yeah okay first of all we improve one self our self to become a leader yes okay who is this i will not read out your answer because your name is not there please rename yourself vivo 1724 i will not read out your answer because you are not re renamed yourself please show your name then i will read i will read okay chandrasekhar chandrasekhar please rename yourself next to your name there will be three dots so click that you will get the option of rename click that and rename yourself okay so chandrasekhar says leader is the person one who motivates themselves and also motivate entire team yeah wonderful that's a great answer they are the captain of the ship yes yes very good i appreciate farhad again leadership helps to improve the society to help people in various ways yeah this is what you discussed okay samson is a passion is important for leadership <laughs> yes correct passion is very very important for the leader then only he will become a leader okay passion is very much important that's what we are going to learn okay so some people say when they become leader they have the power see the pictures power position some people say less work because all the work will be done by their team no as a leader it is your responsibility so you have to work more to help the organization okay now complete this sentence give your answers in the chat box nevertheless every group needs a leader to why every group needs a leader to complete the uh, sentence fill in the blank mohammed shoaib a good leader takes a little more than his share of the blame a little less than his share of credit wonderful first answer is pooja uh, guide them every group needs a leader to guide the team members good answer good answer pooja pooja is the first one to answer this i want more answers there are uh, close to 40 people to guide them to achieve the target okay sandhya yes to guide them to achieve the target guide uh, hamida to provide direction and vision okay farhad to achieve the goals and the aims of the group yes good answers you are giving i am so happy i am so happy you are participating you are giving good answers very good who is this sai lakshmi sai lakshmi chandrasekhar clear the team cheer cheer the team leaders team members are huh? because you are the leader right team members okay vasila to travel the right path to travel in the right path okay sana sir is sir i cannot understand why every group needs a leader why every group needs a leader that is a question please answer <clears throat> okay yes you have corrected sai lakshmi good members shamim the leader should be a good listener and decision maker no that is a quality of the leader my question is every group needs a leader why your answers in one word or two words 
make hard decisions uh why okay what's your name satvik okay make hard decisions why satvik sana for unity unity and to lead a teamwork uh okay that's not the great answer okay shami to guide guide to achieve what to guide for, for what come on come on i want answers from all of you 40 participants are there i want 40 answers come on everyone everyone come on come on ella group ku or leader venum edukku that is my question increase profit profit kirtana okay increase profit maidin rizwan align them towards common goal wonderful answer good very good group ku vandu ellarum align pannu what's our common goal we have to achieve the common goal if you are working in an organization or if you are working in uh, if you are a leader for your classroom or if you are leader for your school or college so what will you do align them towards common goal okay to achieve the objectives yes hepsiba okay to achieve the objectives hepsiba and moidin rizwan answers are same for clear guidance yes sana okay i agree for clear guidance otherwise uh, everybody will be suggesting something i should appreciate sana uh, that is a good answer clear guidance so if you have a, the, the team members are around 10 people let us assume all the 10 people will give ideas so the leader will decide and guide properly very good okay tamil la kuda solvanga tadi edutha vanna tandal karana appdin kepanga okay anybody whoever assumes the responsibility they will give suggestions so there should be a leader to guide asma motivate in a right direction yes very good sai lakshmi chandrasekhar i will call you only sai lakshmi okay your name is very big to make a right decision to make a right decision and lead the team in the right direction okay very good farget okay again every group has some target or aims or goals so to guide members and to create coordination among group wonderful okay so i i think um, uh, you are you are very fair okay you are give, you have uh, really be some basic idea about the leadership i am very happy that okay so wild geese have the right idea see the pictures there is a leader in the front okay whenever you see the sky please observe henceforth from now on please observe where the birds fly there is a leader and all other birds follow it maybe so far we have not observed but please observe from now on the, these birds have not uh, attended attended khalid's training program it is the right like someone said it is a inbuilt quality <clears throat> but you can improve that you can accomplish more when everyone in the group works together in the previous training program we have observed that it is a synergy effect 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 or 2 plus 2 is equal to 5 synergy effect because everyone contributes everyone works together and the result will be great yeah see this i have brought it in a close up shot all the birds whichever birds group a group of birds you can observe there is a leader okay 
So tell me, can an organization or a company fully accomplish its goals like this in the first picture? A group works in a different direction. D group works in a different direction. C group, B group, every group works in a different direction. They cannot accomplish their goal, organization goal. So all efforts should be put in together so that they achieve the 100% bullseye. They hit the bullseye, we say. So every organization will have its common goal. So leader guides their team or team members to achieve the common goal. I'm very happy that you have answered this in a different uh, words. You have really understood the leadership point. Good. So in order to succeed, an organization must have leadership. That is why in our personality development training program, we are talking about leadership. Okay, you have to take the leadership. You have to assume it. Nobody will come and tell you that you are the leader, you have to guide. No. You have the inbuilt quality, so you should take action to become a leader. Sometimes we uh, we open the discussion. So this is the task which has to be achieved. So who wants to be a leader? And surprisingly, many people sit quiet. They don't want to take the responsibility. They fear whether they will succeed or not. Take the responsibility. Assume the responsibility by yourself. Because you have the group. If you guide them properly, they will help you to achieve the target. So whenever chance comes to you, don't lose it. Take the responsibility. Okay? So who is a leader? See the picture. A leader is someone who brings people from where they are to where they need to be. See the picture? They are at the bottom. Okay, the leader helps people to come up. But unfortunately, in any uh, organization or in politics, the leaders, they don't help other people to become a leader. If you observe the politics in India, you can clearly observe that the leaders, they don't create leaders. They want everything to themselves. They don't share the responsibility because they have inherent feeling that they may overtake them. So that's why they don't guide them properly. They, they want all decision to be centralized. They want all decision to be taken by him only. So he is not a leader then. A leader is someone who brings people from where they are to where they need to be. They have to help them to come up in their life. Yes. However, not all leaders lead well. This is what I, I was discussing. Do you agree with me? So, there are various uh, uh, definitions of leadership. Okay. So, they establish a clear vision. Sharing that vision with others. That is very, very important. If you don't share your responsibility or your the common goal or the uh, vision of the organization, your target will not be achieved. So you have to share that vision with others so that they will follow willingly because they have understood what they need to deliver. So they will, they will follow willingly without any force, without any compulsion. Providing the information knowledge and methods to realize that vision. They have to guide. They have to show the way. That is what 
methods to realize. But most of the time, our people, they say, okay, you have to achieve this target. You have to do this job. They don't show how to achieve that. Even at our home itself, when we guide, somebody also told, okay, leadership starts from your home. We give the kids the target. Okay, you have to score 100 marks. That is the target. That is the goal. But they don't show the way to the kid how to achieve that. So you have to show the way if you want to become a leader, if you want others to follow you. You have to show the way how to achieve the target. So you have to coordinate and balance the conflicting interest. Because all team members will have different, different ideas. They will, they will have conflicting interest. They may think something and they will say, this is how this, this has to be achieved. Okay, so you have to balance. You have to bring equilibrium among the team members. So, five reasons why they follow a leader. Number one, position. People follow because they have to get their rights and they have to get a position. They will follow you. Number two is permission. Relationship. People follow because they want relationship. If you are a good leader and if you have the good relationship, they will definitely follow you. Third is result. For achieving the result. People follow because of what you have done for the organization. They know. They come to know what is the joint the organization, what you have really done to the organization. What is the result you produced? So they will follow you. People development. So people follow you because of who you are and what you represent. They give you respect. Okay? So, so that they reach the pinnacle. Pinnacle is the top position. People follow because of who you are and what you represent. So these are the five reasons why people will follow you. Okay? So you have to give rights. You have to share the responsibilities. You should maintain a good relationship. And so that you produce results. And people development is also there. So you are developing the other people to become a leader. So they have hope in you. Okay? So they understand that Okay, you, uh, uh, you, you guide the people and you help them to achieve the position, pinnacle, respect. Because whatever you have done to your team or organization, they respect you. Yes? Okay, without leadership, three things may happen. What are the three things that would happen? Friction. Confusion and underperformance. Friction. There will be friction among the uh, team members. That's why I said you have to balance the conflicting interest. Because they have different, different ideas, they have different, different uh, interest, there will be friction. No, what he says is wrong. What he does is wrong. So there will be conflicting, uh, uh, conflicting interest. So there will be so because of that friction happens. They don't gel together. There will be always fight in the team. Confusion, because everybody is giving some their uh, some of their ideas. So there will be confusion. Which one to follow? And underperformance because of that there will be underperformance. The target will target will not be achieved. Everything else requires leadership. Okay? So these are the three things that will happen. So everything else requires leadership. Uh, there are some proverbs about leadership like a roaring lion 
are charging beer is a wicked leader, bad leader. Because their team members are helpless people. If they are always shouted them, in many organizations, uh, because I have worked in many organizations in the corporate world, I have seen such type of leadership. Some managers are very bad. They always shout at the people. They always find fault in team members' work. But the good leaders are in authority because people follow them. People rejoice. They want their company with a leader. So when the wicked leader rule, the people groan. With the good leader, they rejoice. They enjoy. They give all support to the leader. But the bad leaders, for the bad leaders, the team members always groan. They don't like the company. They don't want to be in the organization. They don't want to be in the team. They leave. Okay? So, in your opinion, what makes a leader good? This question you have already answered. So I am skipping this. So now we are going to uh, see the leadership style, situational leadership, effective feedback, building effective team, conflict management, out of motivation. Okay? So leaders lead, managers manage. There is a clear difference. Leadership and management. See here. So leadership is instilling and inspiring vision because they share the vision to the team members. They are instilling the confidence to achieve the organization goal. Management is instilling good operational process. They don't lead. They don't show how to achieve. They, uh, they instill good operational procedures. So the team members should follow that. And good leadership is getting important things done. So they ensure that important things are done. So leadership should have the blend of leadership qualities and management. Okay? A manager is someone who plans and budget, organizes and allocates resources, controls and solve problems. That is their job. But a leader is someone who shows direction. You have to do this job this way. And he always guides the team. He aligns and influences. Because his decisions are always right, he influences the team members. He motivates and inspires. Manager says, okay, I will control and all this problem I will solve. But leader says he inspires and motivates his team members so that they can do the job themselves, by themselves. Yeah? Can anyone explain this? Come on. I want good participation from you. Can anyone explain this slide? Okay. The boss, the manager, the boss, he, he takes advantage of his team members. He doesn't do anything. He asks his team members to do the job. They take advantage. But the leader empower the team members. He gives responsibility and he shows how to achieve that. So this is the difference between boss and leader. Can anyone explain this? Host, have you given uh, rights to unmute? Uh, yes, sir. Unmute Pani Peslam. Okay. Manager or boss always blame the group members uh, if the mistake will happen. But leader will take the responsibility and give the right path to sort the problems. Yes, Vasila. 
very good answer thank you sir sometimes mistakes happen boss says he is to be blamed because he has not done the job because she has not done the job he 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 passes on the buck to other people he doesn't realize it is his mistake yes for it go ahead sir a manager uh, he has a, a, if he has a plan and if that plan goes wrong and if it doesn't work out so uh, he he just insults the team and get it done forcibly that this has to be done but uh, the leader the leader uh, if if a plan host you have muted muted everyone host yes sir ha ah, yeah yes for sir go ahead sir uh, the manager uh, the manager is a um, one if he has a plan and if it is, the plan has to be get it executed by the team members and if it goes wrong so he blames the uh, team member and he gets it done by forcibly or by hook or by group but the leader if if a plan is there for the team and the plan goes wrong if it doesn't work out so always a leader has a plan b for his team so uh, he helps them and uh, it doesn't matter if we, uh, if a plan a, a has uh, been spoiled we have a plan b so always a backup plan uh, by the leader yeah uh recently i saw a, a movie in which the boss says the, the team member asks sir what is plan b the leader says or the leader i can uh, tell him only the boss he says plan b is making the plan a work he doesn't have any plan b he says making the plan a works that is the plan b he says that means some uh, like varga said some by uh, hook or crook it has to be achieved why he follows that okay that is called our autocratic leadership we will discuss okay good okay fine anybody else wants to discuss about this slide hello sir yes amida uh the boss always have to criticize when you do something new and the leader will encourage when you do something new okay. the boss will speak more the leader will listen to the people more exactly wonderful answer okay Thanks. okay anybody else you can unmute and talk come on anybody has answered the chat box let me check okay uh farid has answered every group has some target or aims or goals so to guide members and create okay this is a question answer for previous question okay we have to fight to gain leadership in politics and also they don't act is responsibility also sir yes sir so thanks for the answers okay but these are all answers for the previous question anybody else can explain this uh, slide okay no issue this apart from those who have answered now i want answers from other people uh sir a boss always wants to uh be uh, a boss like he wants to uh, go ahead before the uh, team but uh, leader will uh, wants always to walk with the team walk with the team okay good answer okay yes thanks ajiba okay a uh, good morning sir yes jamila yeah boss always order the employees ha ah. um, yeah 
leaders are giving opportunities wonderful to... that's a very good answer jamila very good thank you jazakallah khair sir yes come on anybody else Uh, good morning, sir. A boss. Good morning, Silex. Yes. A boss always wants a team member to do it, but do it immediately. But a team member, uh, but a leader is someone who encourages and sits with the team, and uh, make an idea, and uh, work it with the team. So he's a leader. Okay. Good. Good, Silex. Come on. Tamil logo da solala. If anybody wants to talk in Tamil, yes, Tamil logo da niya solla. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I know all of you are very intelligent people. Come on. Because I have seen most of you in the last uh, four sessions, we have to fight to gain leadership. Okay, target again in politics. Okay, boss will dominate, dominate you. Yes, Pooja, but the leader is leader collaborates with the team members. Yes, good. Okay, uh, Nikita. Huh? Sorry. Nikita, huh? okay. Boss orders, leader will work with the team, standing in front. Nikita, okay, yeah. Leader cheers the team. Yes, Nikita, good answers. Good answers. I'm very happy that you are giving good answers. You have understood. I really appreciate you, all of you. Boss always says, go. We have already discussed, right? He gives the task, you do it, somehow or other. But leader says, come along with me. I will show you how to do the job. So you have to develop these leadership skills in you. That gives you, that, that uh, helps you to improve your personality. Okay. Next. Come on. Come on, come on. I want answers. Sir, can I? Yes, yes, Vasila. Go ahead. Yes, sir. If team members, they have got a boss in the Nanda Pandan Solidwanga. But leader is a number of cricketers, a veteran Soli, Aung, Elari Munitit, Aung, a pinna than Ipanga leaders. Wonderful. Wonderful, Vasila. Yes. Thank you, sir. Come on. Other people, come on. I want your answers. Solunga. Nanda ungle ke liberty ko thoda na. Tamil logo da pesala. Come on. So, boss always says, I, naan danga pannan. Madala nama paathom, Liam. If the failure happens, the boss says, he blames others. When something good has achieved, they have achieved the uh, target, they say, naan dam pannan. Naan dam pannan. In my corporate experience, I have seen such bosses. Immediate blame on the artuvang mele poradu, artuvang mele padi solradu. Credit on the Nanda Pana. Nanda will gate Pana. So I, I am the reason for this success, they say. But as Vasila said, leader always stand behind the team. Yar Pananglo Angle, do you credit to Kurte? They behind, they stand behind them. Elele, Yurdam Panare. Abdin Solisolwanga. 
I normally quote uh, APJ Abdul Kalam's video. Please search uh, in the YouTube, Failure to Success. That video is Failure to Success. Now, Chandrayaan, we have launched. It has uh, gone and landed on the moon successfully. But when the first rocket, when the first rocket failed within uh, some 150 seconds or so, when it started, it fell on the sea. So it was a great disaster. So Abdul Kalam says, there were lot many uh, press people. You might have seen the uh, live show of Chandrayaan launch. The last 15 minutes, I think you would have seen. There are lot many press people from foreign also. So he was fearing how to face the people, how to face the press, because it is live telecast to the entire world. APJ Abdul Kalam says, it was, I, I was treading the moment. How I am going to face the press? Then he says, my boss was Satish Dhawan at, at that time. So he said, don't worry. I will answer the question. Questions of the press people. So he took up the leadership, I mean, a leadership uh, thing and he answered the question. Okay, this time you have failed. Next time, by the same time, same date, by next year, we will achieve. So, he has given the target to his team by the same date next year. He assures that we will achieve. That's a wonderful video that is available in English as well as in Tamil. Okay, you should see failure to success. You can uh, uh, you can search in the YouTube and you can understand that. So next year, this success happened. They successfully launched the rocket. Now this time, all the press people are there. Abdul Kalam said, so he put the mic to Satish Dhawan. And Satish Dhawan directed the mic to APJ Abdul Kalam and said, you conduct the meeting. It's a very thrilling uh, moment. Huh? You conduct the meeting. So Abdul Kalam said, okay, we have launched uh, the rocket and all. Okay, everything he did it. This incident he shares after he became the president of India. Please understand. He he narrated this incident to a eighth standard girl question. He always used to meet uh, school students or college students and he wanted to interact with all the people, right? So in one of the incidents, an eighth standard girl asks, what is leadership? He quoted this incident and said, it, uh, I learned this leadership lesson from Satish Dhawan. Please remember, he narrates this in, narrated this incident after he became president of India. He would have quoted some other incident. He would have quoted some other example. But he was very generous to quote Satish Dhawan, his immediate boss. That is the leadership. The failure happened. Satish the one took the responsibility. Though APJ Abdul Kalam was the director, Satish the one said he took the responsibility and said, okay, we will achieve it. This time, because of some reason, we have failed in this attempt. But we will definitely achieve. So by the same day, by next year, they achieved it. And this time, he he gave the credit to APJ Abdul Kalam and team. He was sitting silent. Okay? So leaders, they stand behind their team. They don't blame. Maybe Satish Dhawan would have blamed hundreds of reasons for the failure. APJ Abdul Kalam said, after the first uh, press meet, he went and slept peacefully because 
he and his team did not sleep for so many days and nights they were working very hard to make this rocket launch successful <laughs> he said after the first press meet he went and slept because the leader took the responsibility i suggest you please go through this video okay and see this today itself okay leader cheers the team yes boss orders boss takes the credit for the uh, of the success alone but the leader celebrates with the team yes nikita parigat boss says i have achieved success but leader says it is all our achievements and success yes that's why i quoted this incident uh who is this nurul nurul nasra come on nurul why were you silent so much? i mean till now you always to answer all the questions boss may not give rights to the implement our thoughts yes leader gives right okay sana vetri than mattum swaypavar adhigari than kuluvinarudan vetri kondadi swaypavar thalaivar <laughs> wonderful tamilly adichirukinga so super super uh, sana very good okay so what sana says the manager he enjoys uh, he enjoys and takes a credit for the success but uh, the leader shares the responsibility shares the uh, success credit credit to the success okay yes nurul nasra thanks for acknowledgement okay next come on i want you to explain come on uh, Any... sir yes jamila uh, if anything uh, uh, the employee committed a mistake the manager will the boss will shout at them and uh, blame them the leader will help the when uh, the the uh, the sub subordinates the subordinates committed any mistake the leader will help them uh, to to rectify it wonderful a small correction jamila we don't say subordinate okay subordinate uh, during the british time it was used and we followed that okay sir okay. now in the corporate world we don't use a subordinate we say direct reporting direct reporting okay sir okay. i am a former What? student that's why i no issue no issue, no issue. Okay. Okay, many so government you. officers in many government officers they still use the subordinate but the right word to use is direct reporting okay, okay yeah okay thank okay. you any any other answer come on answer sonnavungale dhan solikittirukinga other people sir tavaru seivavargalai kandippavar adhikari கூடவே நிப்பாங்க தலைக்கு மேலேயே சுத்திக்கிட்டு இருக்கும் the valley sentana sentana enna panna have you completed the job always he questions have you completed the job have you achieved the target and he always have a gun like okay he always um, uh, make the team member to fear him he always uh, disturbs his work the boss the manager he always disturbs his work always questions have you completed the job have you completed the job he always disturbs the uh, the, the team members work but leader they give their they extend their helping hand for the team member so we should always say i am behind you i am beside you don't worry you do the job if you have any doubt come to me i am there to help you they assures reassures to the team member saying that 
his support is always there he helps them to achieve so that the team member rely on the leader okay now boss commands you go you always say go this is your job go achieve but leaders always ask what help you need do you really need any help they always ask and help the team member okay then boss know how it is done ipdi pananu he shows the picture and says this is how you have to perform but leader show how it is done there's a difference he does not show the picture he does not show the only the target the leader says the leader shows how it is to be done yes forget the leader accepts the good and bad results in the group yes he accepts that's why i quoted abdul kalam's incident okay boss says good job namak namak in the sense in kannada or malayalam or tamil it says okay enakke this is for me good job for me leader says good job namamu ye ellarku for all of us this is a good job he gives credit he gives credit okay so leaders lead managers manage leaders bring people from where they are to where they need to be we have already seen the picture they motivates they gives they share the goals and responsibility they organize as well but managers provide the means to do it he gives men material uh, finance money three m's we say money material manpower he gives all i have given you all the resources now it is your job to achieve they say but leaders not only they give all the resources they also motivates they also organizes they also show how to achieve this okay so we are going to see the leadership styles okay effective leadership styles we are going to discuss only four uh, five leadership styles okay please uh, focus on it what's a leader anyway see the picture so a leader can be defined by an ability to get others to follow willingly because he shares the vision because he shares the uh, responsibility he leads so that the team members willingly they follow so what leadership style work best for me and my organization this you have to decide there are many leadership styles from which you have to choose that's what we are going to see now that's what we are going to learn now different styles were needed for different situation and each leader needed to know when to exhibit a particular approach so there are different leadership styles you have to know about it and when to follow which style that you have to learn that is called a situational leadership according to the situation you have to change the your style you have to change the, your style fine so what is the basic leadership style there are four autocratic bureaucratic laissez faire democratic the third thing is a french word they, they say it is not uh, you have to pronounce as laissez faire okay what are these we'll we'll learn this 
autocratic leadership style that's a basic that's a basic leadership style manager retains as much power and decision making authority as possible as we discussed earlier the manager retains all the power whatever decision that has to be taken only i have to decide not you only i have to decide he takes as much power as possible as possible and decision making is done by him and the team members have to follow his decisions he does not consult staff or the team member and they don't allow to give any input if some team member wants to give some input no 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 i know everything i don't want to get your ideas i know everything whatever i am saying do that that is autocratic okay they force their decision on the team members they don't consult the staff the team member expected to obey orders he doesn't have any other option he has to strictly follow whatever his leader says he doesn't get any explanation he doesn't get a chance to give explanation also if the team member say things okay this is not right this this has to be done in this way but the autocratic leader does not listen to them he says whatever i have told execute it don't come and say all this i don't want to hear you structured set of rewards and punishment so okay if you do this i will give you this reward if you don't do this i will punish you like this and team members don't have any right to say something about the reward or punishment whatever he says he have, they have to follow okay great example is who is he who is he adolf hitler sir <laughs> adolf hitler what is is known for he is a great example for autocratic leadership he was greatly criticized even now people criticize him hitler was awarded germany's highest award for bravery the iron cross he is such a powerful man so he asked his physician he uh, he asked his physician to recommend him a reliable method of suicide because he knows because he was autocratic he knows some day some day someone will kill him so he asked his doctor to give you a reliable method of suicide so he suggested combining a dose of cyanide with a gunshot to the head if the cyanide works late then that, that will be a disaster right so he also suggested you have a pistol in your hand shoot yourself so in many cinemas we have seen this scene yeah when the villain at the last scene of the movie the villain will have a cyanide in his packet in his uh, or uh, he will have a small dollar like he opens it and he swallows immediately he dies okay so the, his doctor suggested this have a little cyanide in your packet always and also a pistol to shoot yourself so that you will be double sure that you are dead i need is poisonous and when you swallow it the next moment the death happens but still if you want to ensure that you are dead immediately you have the pistol in your hand shoot yourself he suggested because he wanted a reliable method of suicide right that is why so he is you is the best example for autocratic leadership autocratic leaders leaders will end this way only 
sir now also in uh, north korea one of the leader uh hmm. doing autocratic life. is it right sir north korea i don't remember jamila uh north korea king jong that that name person. okay yeah like this they uh, uh they uh, uh, they doing like this only autocratic um, leadership okay i don't remember that i i think he still uh, he still lives ah uh, yes sir there yes are sir these reports there are yes, these reports he's... but he still lives yes sir yes sir they are brother and sisters in politics leadership hmm and sir okay. even even today if any boss is doing some any kind of uh, this uh, hardships towards his people so the people say kya hitler hitler boss mila and all that exactly exactly nowadays it is being quoted very often in the politics okay but it's not all bad sometimes you have to follow this effective style for the new and untrained staff members the anybody has joined the team now so he is fresh he doesn't have any idea about how to how does the organization works how does the the job has to be done then the leader has to say yes this is how you have to do so for new and untrained staff for quite some time not all the time he has to follow the leader has to follow the autocratic uh, style till the untrained staff becomes trained when the untrained staff has become experienced till that he has to give direction so you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this that is to show the way okay because he is new he doesn't have any idea that's why effective supervision can be provided only through detailed orders and instructions if it is a technical job remember the the leader or the immediate boss has to give clear instruction so they have to say detailed order and instructions say for example for the ladies i'm uh, telling you for the ladies or gents if you want to cook something new your mother gives you detailed instructions right you have to take the kada you have to switch on the stove you have to do this you have to do this you have to add all these they give all the uh, detailed instruction they give okay because you are new you don't know anything about cooking so she gives she directs staff do not respond to any other leadership style at the beginning okay you go and cook this dish if your mom says you, you will not perform you cannot cook the dish yes limited time in which to make a decision in any any organization there is a very limited time there is no time to discuss so the the leader gives the leader is uh, performing as a autocratic style okay no other chat okay limited time in which you have they he have sorry the leader has to take a decision then he has to follow the autocratic style he manages power challenged by staff if somebody says no no this is not the way now the leader says no within this time we have to perform so you do whatever i say so it depends on the situation you cannot be autocratic all through your life it depends on the situation so it should not be used when staff becomes tense fearful and resentful so you have to reduce the tense tension situation you have to then guide them staff expect their opinions here no the team member says you have to hear my decision because i am experienced in this field maybe that sometimes that also happens the team member is experienced in any particular field and he says no it has to be carried out by this not by your direction 
so the leader has to hear their opinions low staff morale high turnover high turnover in the sense they resign quickly they don't stick to the group the team members often quits and absenteeism why absenteeism happens because the leader is autocratic he doesn't want to work so the absenteeism is more among the team members and work stoppage they say the team members say i will not work i stop the work then the autocratic leader whatever instruction he gives it will not be heard it will not be performed by the team members so these situations the autocratic leadership will not work what is next bureaucratic bureaucratic is they manages by the book strictly everything done according to the procedure and the policy they have to follow the, the the particular procedure they cannot deviate if they deviate they will punish by the rule book say for example our law system take for example the case is there in the court and for for this uh, uh, action this punishment they go by the book they don't use their mind because it is specified already so everything is done according to procedure or policy for example a police officer if you violate the traffic regulation he refers the book and say okay you have um, you have surpassed the signal okay so you have to pay so much fine 1000 rupees fine because the book says the rule book says he enforces the rule he doesn't apply his mind he says the rule book says this so you have to do they don't deviate they want their team members to follow the rule book strictly okay uh, this is one example paul tutel senior uh, they have uh, they had a workshop orange county choppers run by father and son okay orange county choppers make theme or and custom based choppers choppers is helicopters they made custom based um the bikes so they have to follow the book right so land armstrong bike for example okay land armstrong bike p o w bike jet bike so these bikes were made by paul tutel senior and junior so these are the thing they have made so they have to follow books they have to use some creativity and they have to follow the book so whatever he has in his mind the junior has to follow that like your cinema your movie the director has the idea but the other people the art director or stunt master have different ideas no they have to follow only the director's instruction that is called bureaucratic okay it happens in many government offices and politics they have to follow the bureaucratic whether it is right or wrong they have to follow that okay it is most effective when staff performing routine tasks over and over because they know this is this is the thing they have to follow okay so their uh, task is routine staff need to understand certain standards and procedures they have to understand there are certain procedures they have to follow in corporate world we say uh, sop standard operating procedures they have to follow strictly 
staff performing tasks that require handling cash. That is very important, okay? To handle cash, they have to follow certain rules. They cannot deviate. Okay. Ineffective. This bureaucratic leadership is ineffective when work habits form that are hard to break, especially if they are no longer useful. Some people always use the same rule book, but they have to make the changes. They have to make changes then and there. See, some of our laws are uh, formed in 1852. The, the Contract Act is 1872. Okay. Some of the rules, some of the law have to be changed. That time, the bureaucratic leadership will not work. And when staff lose their interest in their job and in their, in their co-workers, then it is not effective. Staff do only what is expected of them and no more. They will not contribute more. Even if they have new ideas, they will not because they are bound by the rule book. They have to follow only that. So, they will not contribute. So the result will not be that great. Okay. The third leadership style is democratic. It is exactly opposite to autocratic. Because it is also known as a participative style. What does it mean? Participative. All the team members participate in the decision. They it, it encourages the staff to be part of the decision making. The leader consults his team members. Come on, what do you say about this? Do you have any other idea to implement this? Do you have any other idea to better do this job? They take all the suggestions. If they are good, they implement. It is not only leader's decision, it is collective decision. That is called democratic leadership. He keeps the staff informed about everything that affects their work and shares decision-making and problem-solving responsibilities. He gives responsibility to his team members and he helps the team members to achieve the target. So it is democratic. He, he takes input from everyone and he implement. And the decision will be good. So, Carlos Gozen, he was the president of Renault. Uh, Renault is a France company. And he became a chief executive officer, Nissan, which is based in Japan. He became the chief executive of these two companies. He held the positions. Now you know, in India, both companies are collaborative. Renault and Nissan. Renault and Nissan, we say. They have factory in Chennai. Renault and Nissan. Okay. He was very reasonable while dealing with his subordinate. Participative leadership. Okay. He provided them challenges to perform better. And he guides them. That is why Renault and Nissan, they are very famous brands in the car segment because he provided challenges to his team members to perform better and at the same time he made them realize that he trusted them and their capabilities I told you about a helicopter supervision autocratic leader always do the helicopter supervision he is always above your head but democratic leadership style is giving responsibility to the team members. And he helps the team members wherever necessary. Whenever necessary. So he trusted them and their capabilities. That is why Renault and Nissan became a very big brand. He believed in empowering his employees to take decisions. We have already discussed, right? He believed in, in his employees. First, the leaders should believe the team members that they are capable of doing whatever the responsibility you are giving to them. 
he also believed that change in the organization structure should come from the bottom level it is not to be forced from the top management so whatever ideas even from the uh, i mean the lowest grade people that idea he takes in the previous session we discussed about uh, some some uh, tea tea supplier on a are a small foreman in the company how they manage the situation do you remember the car could not be taken out of the workshop because it was eating the uh, pillar so the foreman he gave a small idea and i also quoted one another example saying that to reduce 250 grams in a car a simple man he quoted he suggested some idea so the organizational culture should come from bottom not to be forced by the top management so he is a best example for that so it is most effective when a leader wants to keep staff informed about matters that affect them and when the leader wants the staff to share in decision making and problem solving duties so in decision making their ideas are taken care and their problem solving responsibilities also taken care by the leader when the leader wants to provide opportunities for staff to develop a high sense of personal growth and job satisfaction if my idea if my idea is taken care and then i feel happy so that i will give more ideas i'll be more effective by that i also grow in the organization when the opportunity comes the leader says this person gives good ideas for the organization success so let us make him a manager and the employee gets his job satisfaction so a large and complex problem that requires lot of input to solve then you have to be participative leader you have to take input from all the people when the changes must be made or problem solved that affects staff if the decision affects the staff member you have to take ideas from everyone so if you want to encourage team building and participation you have to apply this uh, participative leadership style okay when it is not effective if yeah, enough time is not there then you cannot uh, follow this leadership that time you have to follow the autocratic leadership if you have enough time to get input from everyone because everyone will not respond immediately they will take their own sweet time so we have to the leader has to give enough time if the time is not enough then leader has to take the decision immediately and implement if it is easier and most cost effective for the manager to make the decision then they cannot follow this democratic leadership or participative leadership because the time constraint is there the the mistake cannot happen then the leader has to take the his decisions he cannot follow democratic leadership when the manager feels threatened by this type of leadership then he has to become an autocratic when the staff safety is a critical concern then democratic leadership will not help so we have seen three leadership styles so far what are they please message me in the chat box or you can unmute and say long time you have answered in the chat box long time i have been talking they say no argument please follow the protocol 
ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் எஸ் நௌஷாத் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் எஸ் அண்ணா யூரேட்டிக் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் பிரோக்ராட்டிக் அண்ட் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் எஸ் முகமது ரிஸ்வான் மைதீன் ரிஸ்வான் எஸ் எஸ் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் பிரோக்ராட்டிக் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் நவ்ஷத் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் அஸ்மா டெமோக்ராட்டிக் ஓகே யூஆர் மென்ஷனிங் ஓன்லி ஒன் 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 அண்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஓகே கிவ் மீ த்ரீ ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஆல் த்ரீ லீடர்ஷிப் ஸ்டைல் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் பிரோக்ராட்டிக் அண்ட் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் எஸ் சம்சனி சார் ஆர் யூ ஆல் பீப்புள் டேக் நோட்ஸ் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ டூ யூ Do you take notes? Yes, Asma. Okay. Screenshot. <laughs> Screenshot works right. But if you write, you will remember well. If you take just a screenshot, if you go through that after the training program, yes, you will remember. But most of the people take a screenshot, they don't uh, refer it later. So they forget. But instead, if you write in your, with your hand pen then you will remember okay yes sir, uh, autocratic leadership uh, from sir, uh, autocratic leadership from fathers also like this like m10 mother movie puriyala ma autocratic leadership la some fathers also doing like this lesson. like m10 mother movie m10 movie ஓகே 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 ஆ ஹா ஹா கரெக்ட் கரெக்ட் எஸ் 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 ஓகே தி ஃபாதர் ஆக்ட்ஸ் லைக் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் யா பட் தட் ஆட்டோக்ராட்டிக் லீடர்ஷிப் will not be greatly appreciated கரெக்ட் இன் தி மூவி also um he later succumbs to the pressure right then he had to change the leadership style yes that's a good example yes sir uh vasila autocratic bureaucratic democratic we are wonderful Farid, yes, autocratic, bureaucratic and democratic. Yes. Okay. I hope all others also follow this. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> so the next style. Laissez faire. Please note and write the spelling, laissez-faire. Laissez-faire is whatever you want to do, do. So I will not give any input. I will not take any input. So whatever way you want to perform, do it. Free hand. That's called a hands-off style. They don't control. They give full liberty to the staff. This is the task we have to carry out. So do whatever you want. Achieve it. They give free hand. The manager provides little or no direction. And gives staff as much freedom as possible. As much freedom as possible. I will not interfere in your work. But I want only the leadership. Sorry, I want only the result. that's how the laissez faire leader style sometimes the leader doesn't know about or doesn't know how to carry out so he gives a free hand to his team members do whatever you want let us achieve this target like media jobs sir journalism yes sir na a media job like media job lines also follow this media journalism Mm. how do you relate how do you how do you relate this can i explain this leadership uh, this leadership will uh, uh, apply this job how whatever you do they give freedom whatever you do uh, let me take uh, power to use but still they are bound by rules right they cannot exceed the limit oh, oh. okay Okay. because they will be punished okay. if they report 
they have to be, I mean, uh, <clears throat> and they have to take some precautions, okay? So they are not free. Their hands are tied. There are free journalists. Yes, of course. They can report. But the press, whichever releases the report, they are bound by some rules. The free journalist can do. Okay, whatever way he wants to follow to investigate that issue, yes, is free. But while reporting, they have to follow some certain rules. Yes, sir. Okay. So all authority or power given to the staff and they determine goals, make decision, and resolve problems on their own. They don't come to the leader and consults. They are free to make their own decisions. So they are responsible for the um, problem solving. Problems. They have to solve on their own. They cannot take help from the leader. Leader in any way doesn't help them. He says, I have given you responsibility, I have given you freedom. You take whatever decision you want. Okay? So this style also effectively used when staff or staffs are highly skilled. They don't need any direction. They are skilled, they are experienced, and they are educated. Then you can give full responsibility. Staff have pride in their work. You know, staffs are very, very, uh, they get job satisfaction by doing that. And they drive to do it successfully on their own. They don't require any uh, direction because they are experienced. It has become their routine. So for everyday routine, they don't require any direction. Then you can give them free hand. We have already seen if they are fresh, if they don't know anything about their job, if they don't know anything about the organization, then you have to give direction. After they are experienced, then you can give free hand to them. They know how to do the job, routine job. Every day you need not tell them, right? Okay, once you become an expert in cooking, your mother does not give you instruction how to do it again and again. They give you free hand. Okay, you know how to cook this. You do it. Like any job. So outside experts used. Sometimes the organization call outside experts. They don't give, they don't give any direction to them because they know how to do the job. Because your staff, your team members, they don't know how to do the job. You are calling the expert uh, expert from outside. So you need not give any instruction to the outside expert. They know how to solve the problem. Okay? Then you have to give the freestyle. Staff are trustworthy and experienced. So I have the feeling that this person will carry out the job perfectly then I need not give any instruction to them how to do the job. So I will give free hand to him and because he is experienced, the result will happen. In those situations, you can give free hand. Then you can be less afraid. So it should not be used when staff feel, feel insecure. Some people they want to refer to their immediate boss quite often. So if the staff feels insecure, then I cannot give him free hand. I should be available to guide him always. Right? The manager cannot provide, if the manager uh, cannot provide regular feedback to staff on how well they are doing, then this cannot be, this style cannot be followed. If the managers are unable to thank staff for their good work, then this style will not work. The manager does not understand his responsibilities and hoping the staff cover for him or her, then you cannot follow this kind of leadership style. Then the transformational leadership. 
great example is our father of nation mahatma gandhi he make changes happen in self first he ensures that the change happens in himself and then he makes the transformation in others or groups or organizations that's why he led for the independent india right first he transformed himself then he transformed the other people groups organizations so when you have the charisma when you have the charisma a special leadership style commonly associated with the transformational leadership because he created a transformation he created a charisma around him so which is extremely powerful extremely hard to teach after gandhi ji we have seen many leaders in india or any any world any nation in the world we have seen many leaders but are they all uh, are they uh, did they follow the same uh, style they could not maybe few examples nelson mandela right they made a great transformation they are also uh, nelson mandela is also a transformational leadership example the prophet mukhandar is allah who is allah or prophet mukhandar is allah ma sha allah prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yes so it is extremely powerful but it is it is extremely hard to teach i cannot conduct a webinar like this and teach the transformational leadership no it is very hard to teach so transactional leadership emphasizes getting things done within the umbrella of the status quo so it emphasizes getting things done within the umbrella of the status quo situation is the same but you have to make the transformation in opposition to transformation leadership by the book approach the person works within the rules it is commonly seen in large and bureaucratic organizations friends please excuse me i am taking a small break please be online i am sipping a cup of tea so please give me some time so the transactional leadership it is only by book it is commonly seen in large and bureaucratic organization this is what i was discussing in the beginning itself situational leadership can someone explain this slide so a good leader will change intuitively according to the situation he adopts the better uh, leadership skill better leaders to style so they switch between the styles according to the people and situation that is called situational leadership okay then another leadership is there that is called a servant leader 
they give important to the servant they give importance to the team member so it begins with your heart inspired to serve first not to lead they help in all the way okay then leadership decisions then becomes inevitable and it inspires the servant leader to assume responsibility this is what i told you in the beginning itself you have to assume responsibility when the chance you get if you get a good chance take the leadership he or she is a sharply different from person who is a leader first leader first is almost similar to your manager manager style but servant leadership is to help their team members to achieve their target so for them the servant or the team member are first their team is first they do whatever they want they do whatever according to the team whatever they want they are ready to help for them people is the first for the managers or the autocratic leadership the job is first by hook or crook they have to execute the job but for the servant leadership it is a people leadership okay they give more importance to the people if someone says in the team sir today i feel headache i cannot do the job okay take rest they say but the task oriented leaders they say no even if you are in a death bed you have to do this job that is task oriented people they, you have to carry out this job whatever may be whatever the situation may be you have to carry out the job but servant did yeah sir mgs ah yes ana enna ma mastal sevi mahesan sevi endru kondu correct makkal sevi mahesan sevi enna ma hmm yes ana go ahead karma sir politician mgr mg ramachandran mgr ah okay ama adu tamil nadu leaders eduthitinga na they uh, they were more particular about the people okay so they were focusing more on uh, people's welfare scheme not only mgr other leaders are also there okay for them people are important <clears throat> so they bend rules sometimes the servant leadership will bend their rules to accommodate people's demand okay as i told you if somebody feels um, not well they give free hand <clears throat> in one example in 2014 one of my team member was a, he was a lady with a small child kid infant may i may rather say so uh, she wanted to take leave on a particular day she wanted to take care of her daughter i said okay you work from your home even before covid uh, forced us to work from home i gave permission to her to work from home in 2014 itself so it is an example for servant leadership we give importance to the uh, people to the team member okay so three factors which influence which leadership style to use one manager's personal background he may have come from a different background his personality knowledge values ethics and experiences some managers because of their background they don't value the people they are task oriented managers so what he thinks or she thinks will work then 
staff being supervised how about the team members staff individuals with the different personalities and backgrounds if they listen to the leader and implement then that's a good team sometimes some members of the team member they will not listen to the leader so that time i have to approach i have to follow a different leadership style so it always vary depending upon the individual staff and what he or she will respond best to it okay then the organization it has its own tradition values and philosophy and concerns of the organization influence how we a manager acts some particular style will act for a particular organization sometimes it is different that is why i said situational leadership so the leaders have to change themselves according to the need need of the people need of the organization thank you friends so if you have any doubt any questions you can ask now thanks for patient hearing hope you learned about the leadership style now so this will give a an intro i gave an intro about the leadership styles okay thanks for it any questions about any leadership styles do you upload your leadership videos uh yes uh, nural nasiha i have uploaded my video in my channel vanam masapadam i have already done it and one more information on 9th september they have asked for another topic uh leadership lessons from a simple tea bag that's the topic so there also i will talk about the leadership styles so i will share the uh, date and the link if you are interested you can join that talk it will be only in tamil i'm sorry it is only for, for tamil people uh, there is a group called tamil europe for them i am conducting this session it will be strictly in tamil okay thanks ai lakshmi hepsiva yes hepsiva okay tomorrow is memory skills okay so please try to attend that also exactly at 10 o'clock we will start okay we will wait for nobody we will not wait for anyone we will exactly start at 10 o'clock memory skills that will help you especially for the students okay okay nurul nasias jazakalla khair farhad jazakalla my thanks to everyone who has thanked me in the chat box hey samsini sir it's a wonderful class and useful for us okay give your feedback to saipa okay they will ask you for the betterment of the mm leadership is a very big responsibility first of all we improve ourselves to become a leader yes vasila you have to bring transformation in yourself leadership quality will groom our self confidence yes sana good arghat thank you shamim thank you sai lakshmi leader is the person one who motivates themselves and also motivates the entire team yes they are the captains of the ship you have already answered this right okay okay leadership helps to improve the society and help people in various ways good so sai this is is it from your father chandrakhegar i'm happy that he has also attended passion is important for leadership mohammed swaib good leader takes a little more than his share of the blame a little less than his share of the credit yes correct answer mohammed swaib guide them yes puja 
Sandhya to guide them to achieve the target, to provide direction and vision, to achieve the goals and the aims of the group. Yes, Varga, Sai Lakshmi, cheer, cheer the team leaders. Sana, what do you don't understand? Vasila to travel the right path, yes. Repeat the quiz. What, which quiz, uh, Sana, you are referring to? Members. Okay. Shamim, the leader should be. Yes, Sana? Yes, my old, old sets were uh, first, uh, um, in the starting session, then you have first thing getting in the program. That's it. Well, that is the question I asked to you. You all have answered very well. No. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, oh, I see. It's problem. Okay, okay. Thanks, Vasila, for the clear explanation of the leadership. Actually, I practice some leadership skill in my career. Hereafter, I will enhance myself. All the best, Vasila. Okay. Thank you, sir. Anything else? Host? Can we close the session? Sir, yes, sir. Sir, uh, uh, Farad, you can do it. Yes, Farad. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, I, I have to discuss with you about the third part of the leadership that is some Lizare, uh, means the leadership. Uh, leadership according, uh, ch changes in the leadership according to the situation, sir. So I'm also undergoing this uh, type of uh, changes in my leadership because I'm in political leadership also and uh, social activity also. So I'm facing a lot of differences in, do, in these two types of leadership because political it is very rigid and it has to be followed and autocratic. Whereas in a, a social activity, my leadership has to be very bendable, very uh, soft, and very co co coordinator like a very good coordinator so that's what i want to do share with you and sure sure Farad. can we take it offline not today today immediately after the session i am going out okay yes. maybe uh, tomorrow tomorrow after the session is over or anytime yes. anytime after that you can yes. um, reach me through uh, whatsapp message yes sir. thank okay. you sir. thank you sir. asma Certificate. Uh, I, will, I will discuss, or you can discuss with the CIPA about the certificate. I am not a decision maker with regard to this certificate. You can clarify with the CIPA. Okay. Post. We can Aye, wind sir. up the session. Ah, okay, sir. Jazakallah, sir. Our okay. time is very English. Okay, okay. it's fine for sure. Jazakallah, sir. Okay, you can close the recording, stop the recording. Ah. If we get also, sir, where can we use of that certificate? Huh. As for if you get the certificate, you can use in your uh, resume, wherever you are applying, or uh, you can show us 